organized by Mr. Chris Drager. Thank you. Now let them call me a runt. 
and strong. And you want for arm wrestling? And healthy. Check off the pink in the cheeks. <laughs> and he was ready to be sold. Why, for a pretty fair price, I'm willing to be sold. Oh, no. No, Papa, you can't sell him. You just can't. He's eating too much. I can't provide for him any longer. I've already sold Wilbur's ten brothers and sisters. But he's mine. He's not a pet. Like a cat or a dog. Fern, we raise animals to sell. That's how I make a living. You've had your fun raising a baby pig, but Wilbur's not a baby anymore, and he has to be sold. Oh, Wilbur! <laughs> Listen, everybody, I have a suggestion. Why don't we call this document? Your Uncle Homer sometimes raises a pig, and if Wilbur goes to live there, he's down the road and visits any time you'd like. Oh, yes, please, Papa! That's not a bad idea, Martha. Come along, we'll call Uncle Homer. Can Wilbur come, too? Why not? Maybe we'll let him make the call himself. It's not <laughs> funny. He can talk, you know. Oh, Bert, what an imagination. <laughs> Nothing, nothing, never mind. Nice to meet you, Wilbur. Now, mind 
I am so glad to be my friend. In fact, it restores my appetite. Care to join me? No, thank you. My breakfast is waiting for me on the other side of my web. Oh, really? What are you having? A fly. I caught it this morning. Oh, you eat flies? And bugs. Actually, I think they're blood. Oh. That's the way I'm me. I can't tell you. Besides, if I didn't catch insects and eat them, there are too many, so many things to destroy the earth. Wipe out everything. Oh, really? I wouldn't want that to happen. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm going to have my 